Hey everybody, we're going to be looking at the arrangement track today. This is one of our global tracks, and I find it actually really useful in songwriting and working on musical arrangements and productions. This is a, a really cool tool, but you have to change your thinking a little bit when doing this because you can't just add and subtract as easily if you want to use this. However, once you kind of adapt into the arrangement workflow, there's some huge strengths with this. So let me show you just an example of that. So say I've got this song I'm working on and I want to try the second verse in the place of the first verse and just switch them. So now I just have to click on this and drag it out and everything that's on the tracks below that swaps. So that's as easy as it is to come through and do that. Not only is it that easy to move all your regions, it's also going to move all of your automation as well. Reach beyond your fear. So let's hear the second one. You sitting there? Tears pouring out. And so I can also then undo these changes and go back to how it was. I saw you sitting there. You do have to be careful when you have audio that maybe goes over the edge of the arrangement marker, but that's easy to edit at the end once you get the arrangement you want. So let me talk to you about my process for doing this. And a lot of times when I'm doing like a song that I kind of already know the form for, when I make a new project, I will start with the arrangement at the very top. I'll just put in, you know, I think it's going to be like a four or eight bar intro my typical verse length, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. And I'll do that very first because if you do that first and then you create a drummer track, all of those parts are already put into place with the drummer. So let me show you how that looks real quick. Let's just uh, don't close this one. This is fine. Just put an instrument up there. And so this project right here, Let's open up the global tracks and we have our arrangement already. So let's zoom out. So we have just a basic right here. You can do option click to copy. So say I want two choruses and we want to do another verse in between those. And we want to do a chorus after the bridge and then an outro. So I've got just a basic arrangement now. Let's come through and we'll do a new drummer track you'll see that this automatically populates it with default drummer, but all the different parts for that. So an intro part, first, something different for each of the parts that somewhat correspond with the types of, uh, of the arrangement that we're looking at. Now I can come through and change the drummer. And so this is a great way just to get an easy drum arrangement with all the parts of the song you're working on. So that's actually pretty useful if you start off with it. Now you don't have to start off with it. You can actually do your arrangement and then add these later. And that's fine too. Now this has another benefit. So say I want to do perhaps a different version of a course at the end and I'm messing around with it. Instead of just deleting or using different playlists or whatever, I can option click on this chorus and drag it out. And it's going to copy all the parts there. Let's come through and just delete all the vocals. And now I've got all the instruments that match the other chorus versions that I can then record new vocals on top of just to get you know, a different idea. And all the instruments and stuff are side by side. If I'm happy with it, I can drag this one in to there and then delete that one, or I can just drag the parts. But just having this functionality is really useful. Now I can also click on this course at the top, hit delete twice, and it will just delete all of it. Same for this in the middle. Say I want to do this with the verse, hit delete. It's going to give me a fresh start in that middle section. Let's undo that and not delete it. But you get the idea of how flexible and powerful working with this arrangement global track can be. Gives us a lot of options, gives us a lot of efficiency, helps keep us organized when we're in a session. Say we want to really quickly get to a part of the song, I can hold down option and click on this and 
the take the playhead right to the beginning of that section. So I can very easily navigate around this. If you do that real time while it's playing, it does have a little lag, but you can just hit stop, push play. That's when we begin to see. And then it's actually a lot faster. Tears, you cry, they were for you. I thought I saw what you clearly knew. All alone. Okay, this allows me to be very productive without having to worry about certain things. It does take a little bit more time to set up at the beginning but that's time that I feel like in my projects is very worth it, time well spent, and just helps me in the long run with so many other things. Okay, that's all I want to show today. Do keep in mind that if you are relying on frozen tracks in a project to be able to run on your computer, you can't do this with frozen tracks. So for instance, let's freeze the drummer. And once it's frozen, I'll move one of these around and you'll see that it just doesn't do anything. So for instance, option click this course to make another one. Everything is copied except for the drums. That's when we begin to see. So you would have to unfreeze it first and then copy it. Okay, that's it. Hope you're having a great weekend and we'll do a few more videos this coming week. So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Talk to you later.